face nonetheless. So let's look at the bracket. So this is a round two. So this is so we have four waves. We have four waves. This is like the third wave right now. And it's a sem it's a semi match of the wave. So now we have anchors and Nora. Both people thrill their round one. Now we have Falcon versus Lucina. So Lucina is probably Lucina plays like a little like ultimate, but like you can actually combo and their stuff. And Falcon plays like Mayo Falcon for everybody here. Lucina does have a new down B. Um, if Noah shows it off, it's sort of like a it's sort of like an armor move. Think like Incineroar or Revenge. But if you input a direction on it after your control stick, she does a slash in any one of three directions. I would, sort of like dancing with I would be surprised if we see it because I, that, that move is pretty bad. I, as somebody who yeah. plays a lot of the scene, a lot of the scene, I think that move is like bad. It got both night it, it has some issues. It's niche, yeah, but anyway. She also has this new Nair that you can see here. Yeah, no, definitely. Anyway, let's talk, let's talk one with the map. So right now, anchor off to the early start. And, ooh, hold ooh. up, that down there? Goes, as you can tell, down there and goes under the, the ledge. So, really good stock by nowhere, honestly. Just getting Falcon. Falcon recovery a lot better, but it's still Falcon and day. He's still yeah. very good of an edge guard. Very linear recovery. Just goes for her. Like I said, the drift right there, insane. And once again, knee's dead. Pretty much, so, yeah. An okay. And now Anchor just controlling center stage. Yeah. No, Obviously Falcon still struggles against sword users, probably like Mark and Melee, yeah. I think so. So like Lucina's matchup wants to get a grab or like an up to an or like any to start the combos and then eventually try to get Falcon off stage so they could like, you know, Obviously get Edgar really yeah. easily. And Lucina's backer is really strong. And it's really weird DI, but once you know it, like the actual proper DI, like it won't kill, but it just gets you really good, like Gets a person off stage. Yeah, in general in this game, yeah. might be a little strange to do. That was really good. That, yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's more like melee DI, but there's some moves that have weird like DI. But like, it's a game. It's, this is a game that like once you play more, you start understanding yeah. what you, what needs to be done. It's is definitely a game that comes with time. But focusing back on the match, obviously Anchor closing out that third stock from nowhere with a good back air off ledge. You know. Not just Lucina that can take advantage of Captain Falcon's recovery. Captain Falcon can also do it right back. And Anchor with enough, obviously, mark experience to deal with it. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, but like, then again, there's that Lucina back there taking Anchor off the top. Oh, definitely. I agree with that. And honestly, like, right, right, right here, the up tilt starting up. But Anchor was really good, like, up there in place. Yeah. Put out a bunch of hitboxes out. Yeah. No, like, Lucina's, like, up close was really good at the entire option. That's what he did here over here, too. And once uh, again, nice. just like Melee Falcon, if you hold in, you're getting need and you're dying. Yep. You were losing your stock, too. Do not hold up on Falcon up there. Yeah, no, definitely. It happens, you know, like, sometimes they hit the moment, you're just holding in. And like, Anchors is really good at, like, knowing that and, like, putting it to the advantage. Yeah. Phenomenal edge guarding by Noah. Great ledge situation for you. Yeah, no, that was immaculate. I'm not, I'm, I'm very... I like yeah. it. This is what I like seeing. Could, I like to play that ledge guard situation. I like, like watching good ACR. This is good ACR right here. And honestly, that could have been down there. Yeah. But I think he didn't want to commit to it. And like, Anchor right It would have been really risky if he missed it. Yeah. Right now, Anchor's a really tough spot. Falcon on stage. We know Nowhere knows how to like, edge guard this. Yeah. But hold on, wait. Falcon. And Anchor with these high recoveries, too. Just getting stuffed out. Somehow, he got a neutral track oh. one. But now he's. Now they're just strapping again. Yeah, no, definitely. But like, I feel like Anchor's like, here's the thing. Anchor's already down a percent, and like every scrap that happens helps him more than like helping nowhere. Cause like and like just like that, anchor, anchor closes it out. Anchor clutch. closes it out. Sometimes nowhere plays really well, but at right the end he was like the pedal and like against anchor, you do not want to give him a second chance. I gave anchor too many second chances, and I lost that to him by giving him too many second chances. Exactly. Sometimes you need to sow those those seeds of chaos in the neutral yeah. just so like you can maybe flip a coin and win. Yeah, no, definitely, but like, no. Noah played really well, and I won. No, I, that was very close. Yeah, I won. I want to see what adaptations he does, because I feel like he was playing well, but I know Anchor's also pretty good at adapting, too. Of course. And Anchor thinking about his stage bands. We he already have Smashville off. He's thinking right now. Yep. Let's go, Anchor! So we got <laughs> Battlefield and Smashville up. Where does Noah go? Bramble! Blast. This is a really good stage just for sword users in general so like what i like about the stage is that this is like one this is like probably the smallest stage in our rule set 
and it's really good. And Lucina wants to get like really early kills with Force Smash and back air, and it works. And obviously the edge guarding comes, as we've shown, Noah knows how to just edge guard immaculately. But this also helps Angel because now Nee's gonna start killing a lot earlier, and a bunch of other stuff out because back air starts killing earlier. But yep. hey, also the recovery, the platform, this, I feel like the platform also helps Falcon too, but we'll see if Noah yep. is able to like react. The platforms on Bramble Blast, like Yoshi's story in Melee, go all the way to the edge, so you can jump up from ledge and wave back onto them for yes. even more mix-ups off the ledge. It's a good stage. It's, it's a, a good stage. really good stage. It's a really good stage. But right now, Anchor's kind of just running the show right now. Grab ledge. Ooh. Oh. The reverse up That was nice, actually, to get the stall. I like that a lot. I'm not gonna lie, Noah's just seen already better than mine. This, 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 dude, this dude knows how to play. He just has a really good understanding of neutral. They're trading wins back and forth. But Noah's just like really pushing his advantage now. Oh, did he get the sweet spot that he like? Ooh, hold oh, nice down tilt. Oh, oh my god, the anchor, had just, anchor had just been like de stress. My anchor had been so like tight. His but, like, space is the microspace is crazy and like those are hard. Like anybody else has to deal with that. That's a, a little unfortunate. It's unfortunate, but hey, it happens. You know, Some, sometimes you go for it and you get caught. Yeah, so that was nice to see. And neat. Okay. Right now, like, no one's kind of controlling this, like... He's doing know. what he has for him. He's really just controlling this. And space. once again, we see right there, th that reverse up for killing, it kills because it's on Bramble. Like, once again, this is a good stage for Lucina, but it also helps Falcon a lot. I this feel like also... Fox just fly on the stage. I also feel like he wanted, like, a, I guess a smaller stage just because he doesn't want Falcon to just, like, run around for free and just yeah. get the... You know, you know... You know, Lucina's sword, probably the smallest out of all the Fire Emblem, like, Mark likes. It's really big right now, and the next update will be more reasonable. That's I would say that much. As somebody plays in it, the, the sword is like so like it's really strong. It's really like compared to her. she has a Lucina sword is bigger than March. Just let you know. It is. Yeah, they changed that down nightly. But oh. anyways, let's just let's focus back on that. Right now, we just have like both these people are just scrapping. They're just like edge guarding each other back and forth, always trying to. Really, Noah with really the advantage cool. now. Oh, up throw knee. Yep, that's the classic. Doesn't punish the side D uh, onto stage and dies for it. Yeah. Right now. Very unfortunate. Right now, okay. Anchor's like okay. Anchor trying. Anchor's to take like back trying to get like a lot of like extra credit. 45 is pretty good. And now, yeah, that was another one. Backer up top. We've seen the awful suckers from Mark Rise because her main kill options are either smash attacks or from back air or like edge guarding. So like if the opponent's like just really good at like recovery, she kind of struggles a little. And I feel like that's what happened a little there. It's like Anchor Fa or Falcon in general living to 150 on Bramble should not be happening. Like yeah. the stage is so small that like. You pick the stage because you want to kill him early, or you want to like win neutral more because Falcon has less space to work with. But right now, like Anchor's just running away with it. Like I know Anchor loves Bramble. This, this is one of his favorite stages. And right now, to be fair, all of Tri State loves the stage. Yeah, this has quickly become a fan favorite. This is definitely the go-to in Tri State. You just want to scrap on this. But right now, like I said. Noah is like doing a good job of like slowing the tempo down, but like the hill he has to climb right now is really hard and Anchor is just doing everything he can to just keep living and like like I said right there the platform helped him out. Oh nice tag. tag. And once again the the fate the fucking drift. Oh I apologize uh, for my language, sorry, but like the drift is insane. And now okay. Uh, okay. Anchor that's with a good oh. and that's Anchor. All he needs is one interaction. One all in, all he needs is one that guy. Oh, that's my guy. All he needs is just one hit and he will take you to town. And I think that's really what we're seeing is the dynamic of this this matchup. Lucina might need two, three interactions unless she like really gets a gimp on you. Whereas Anchor might just need one. And even if he doesn't get the kill off of it, he'll keep you at disadvantage until he does. Oh, 1000% DNA. I agree. I wholeheartedly agree with you. And now we see green greens. And Smash will go off, so nowhere counter picks to Battlefield. That feels like a counter pick. I like this counter pick. Oh, we're seeing a character counter pick as well. PT. Now is this? Whoa, whoa, is this, whoa! Is this whoa. a true PT or is this a this a one of the three specialists? Because I, I don't know. See, I saw that he selected Squirtle. Here's the thing: Anchor has experience because Tristy has a bunch of good Pokemon, uh, Pokemon trainers. One of them being. Beast, he's so sorry, but he's still good. And once again, my boy Rex, if you're in here, a shout out to Rex. He would have won the whole event if he came, just saying. But, anyways, let's go back to the set. So, it seems like 
there's a lot of Squirtle, and Squirtle is really good at edge guarding Falcon. But like once again, Anchors is really good at this match. At, at this match, so he played against Rex a lot. And okay, so we're seeing an immediate switch to the Zard. And Charizard is that once again. Charizard's probably the best of the three. Yes, one on the general definitely. consensus. Yes. As you can see, the snare just commands a lot of space. His aerials have good amounts of landing lag on them to the point where you're, they're not really running. <laughs> and you see that that funny dare. I mean, it's there. It's uh, that's okay. I'm more, I want to talk more about that down tilt if and Noah starts using it. Oh, we can talk. We can talk bar. Anyway, one thing, Anchor has has set wins over Beast. Correct. Who's like top five? Who's playing like a top five player right now in Christ State in general? He made it out of winter side of the pool too. So and I know Anchor knows. Anchor knows the matchup. And well. heavies, pretty pretty much combo food for Falcon. Oh yes, most definitely. Falcon, Falcon will always. Oh, uh, Falcon will always combo a heavy like this hard. Maybe not. Uh, maybe not. Uh, some smash it's like brawl. But like, maybe maybe I'm mistaken. But yeah. But you know, in this game, that's much more like melee. Falcon has his melee combo routes. This is definitely a matchup where if Anchor gets advantage, he's possibly going to stay at advantage. Oh, I wholeheartedly agree with you, man. And right here, like, what, two? Now we have some Anchor control. just controlling, like, the center and just making it hard for Nora to just get in. Because Charizard has really big hitboxes, but he's still, like, a little, like, his walk speed is pretty slow. He's actually good, though, but, like, Anchor's just doing a good job just keeping him out, honestly. And that right there, yeah. oh, clean edge guarding. So, like, so all the Dior's, the legend of scheme is like similar to like, let's say like, I'm gonna say Brawl Ledge. Brawl Ledge. And the fact that like, in Melee, you know, you can like, Ledge Hog with Roll and like, it's like the character, the GM too, the characters that considered to be there forever. No, in that game, in this game, it's like, as soon as you like, get off, you can like, grab the ledge. But of course, like, Anchor really like, needs the, um, the legend ability. To like time his roll, so he's not so he's not so he's not well not only to get the kill but also not get hit by the upbeat, which will make him lose the ledge. So like okay. I said, Anchor just showing the experience in this matchup pretty well. Anchor pretty dominant in neutral here. Yeah, no, Anchor is playing pretty well. Oh, that that was, uh, that was a very very overzealous down I think. Anyways, okay, it's down tilt. Yeah, four, down tilt. Down tilt. Down 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 tilt. Down tilt. Down tilt. Yeah, yeah, okay. Anyways, right now, oh, hold up, wait. Okay. Hold up, anchor. He just jumped there. No, honestly, like, yeah, really good. Um, Charizard forward air, also a good aerial. Really just good really good aerials on this character overall. Yeah, but right here, anchor is like not, nah, bro. Like, you can't just you can't just do that to me. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm taking the stock game. So now, we are at a last stock. This is potentially Noah's last stock of his winner side tournament. Anchor one away from making it to like the the winner finals of the wave. So let's see what happens. Honestly, like I feel like Anchor has been winning a lot of interactions. Okay, like, good no. slide off from nowhere there to get that nair. Yeah. Right here, very scared. Yes. Yeah, Falcon of the. Very scary right now for both people, honestly. Oh, like, good nair to stuff out the knee. That was a call out. That was a call out. Ooh, good roll. Oh my God, the shield is dying. Whoa, oh, that might be that, death. That's that's. We that, might be heading into a game four. That, yep. That, yep. Okay. Nowhere was Nowhere like. takes one. Nowhere is like I'm not getting real tonight. I'm in this game, and I feel like this guard pick was worked out pretty well. Yeah. I feel like right now Anchor's thinking, Anchor's gonna have damn, I really jumped at that forward air. I feel like he feels I know he feels confident still and I know Noah's feeling good. Both players are like trying to trying to get through this. They're, they they wanna win, you know. What do you think what, what do you think about the current stage list? What, what do you think well, not the current stage, what do you think about the stage we have here in regards to this matchup? I think that Congo Falls and Sky Sanctuary Zone might be the preferred picks here because they have those walls on them and yeah. falcon obviously having a wall jump in this game can really mix mushroom kingdom U is another stage Wait, of falls no, in the stage key, low key, this might be the one that is just good, because it has a good stage it has the really big center platform like green greens and you can probably get like really good air wobbles off of it it's slightly higher too let me tell you what i like about the stage the center plat is high enough that most characters up tilt won't reach you mm -hmm. so like that is a really good uh, thing to know and Let's be honest, Falcon doesn't use up tilt much. Ivysaur, Squirtle, and Zard all use this up tilt. But you know what will reach here from Falcon? Short hop up here. Oh yes, definitely, 1000%. Like a lot, look, look, 
Look how big it is. Like, but this is. This looks so funny, actually. Anyways, let's talk about this match. Right now, Nora's sticking to Squirtle. I wonder if he's oh, going to try. Oh, good call out Stomp. And like you, like I said earlier, short hop up there is going to be king here on any mistakes. One hundred percent DNA. I wonder why Nora's sticking. The Squirtle, so probably just trying to rack up for sun because in the yeah. first game he just instantly one Charizard. Maybe this is a game plan turn. Maybe it's, he knows something that I don't know. You know, but like I want to, I want to see the Squirtle's doing pretty well right now. Squirtle's just really hard to kill. He's like really tiny. Squirtle, like his PM iteration, doesn't have uh, doesn't have the what's the tech called? The I I know what you're yeah. talking about. It's the one where he slips the slide. So, yeah. So doesn't have as much movement, but does still have his combo potential. And he has the funny back here. Yeah, which is really fun. So anyways, so Anchor recognizes that Nora's shielding a lot makes him get a tiny shield and just punches him for that. So now Nora's like, alright, I'm back to guard, like I've been Spur we're not it. And now this is once again, really big stage for Anchor. This is this this is good. Falcon wants to run at you. Jump down B. Oh, okay, hold up, wait, no. Oh my god. Oh, I was fucking a drift back. Yeah, I wanna say just in time. It's a, it's a set, man. We have, they have to mix it up, you know? You gotta Ooh, keep the first guessing. Good, good, good tech. Good tech by Anchor. Right now, Anchor's at 157. He just wants to, like, he just wants to, like, get as much extra credit as he can. Get Charizard out of this crouch cancel ring. So when he comes back, he can just, like, keep going at him. Right now, 55, I think he's out of cross cancel range. So right now, like, Anchor just do whatever he wants without, like, worrying. That up tilt is so good. He gets his immediate yeah. spot dodge. Once again, good job by Noor. Such a good anti air off. Noor, Noor knows how to play Zard. Like, it looks like it. Like, he definitely. I was. This is probably his main out of the three. This is definitely his main out of the three. Okay, once again. Oh, oh a so, little too early on the roll. Yeah, definitely. I feel. And just hold us, yeah. Yep. So Charizard, multiple jumps, so his recovery is kind of lackluster. As you can see, that would be kind of like not the greatest in the yeah. world. And Charizard can't glide, can't glide in this game. There's no gliding. So like, obviously, like the recovery is a little worse than yours. Good there, good for air. And really that, good conversion. That is. Oh. This is why we we like walls. Walls like that means you can DI on the downers exactly. and down there to tackle. And I know Anchor is really good at that. I would. Know oh, nice ever. single hit in there to the re grab. Anchor was fucking something up there, but it doesn't mean too much. Once again, Anchor with the drift. Like, nowhere to, does not know how to punch that in round. Like, so, okay. Anyways, even game here. Nowhere versus Anchor. Oh, there's the down tilt. So, let me tell you something funny. The down tilt is currently a little bit bugged, as the range is double the size it should be. So, if you see the down tilt heading from, like, miles away. Yeah, it's really just jointed. It's this jointed is something else. It's at least a Captain Falcon's whiff away from Charizard dead. For sure, yes. So, right now, we have... Right now, hold up a second. Anchor on top stage. Okay. Go to reverse nares. That was good nares. I think that's Anchor. I think I'm talking about jump. Good backer, down E. Oh, oh no, he died no, off that. Wow. Died off of it. Okay. And now Noor and... Noor definitely brought, brought it back, you know? This is why I love Smash. Like, you go down 0-2 and you're like, nah, you know what, like, I can still win this. I'm oh, didn't connect with the strong knee. Yeah, no. That could have been a really quick clock to even up the game. Yeah, no, and that was a good thing. So right now, both last off. Falcon can easily die. Charizard can also easily die. This this is a this is a, this is a match right here. We have a good game here. Exactly. And no one really impressing me with his gameplay. His game plan. Up to, wow. Not somebody that I've seen much in the HR community, but I hope they stick around because this is great gameplay. Immaculate, I agree. This, this Charizard got this Charizard is really good actually. I like this one. I'd be I wouldn't want to play nowhere too. I'd be I'd be I'd be afraid of everybody that plays HCR because it's always hidden bosses here, man. This this is You never know who's gonna and people get better all the time. I know. That, that almost could have been it. So right now, anchors are trying to call out like a, a defensive option. Oh my god, that grab. That Ooh, was nice grab. Though. Oh, miss attack. Miss attack, but miss nair actually too. That's a knee, oh, and that's it. Anchor okay. clutches out. Anchor moves on. 3-1. Good stuff to anchor, but also great shot to nowhere. No, nowhere. Nowhere looks really good. I think he can make it out. I, I, with the way he's playing, yep. he, 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 I think I think he can make top cut pretty easily. Yo, anchor! Yo, good stuff to you both. Good, good that stuff. was a good match. Huh? What's up? Uh, that, that was, was, it was four, it was four games. games. It was Falcon, Lucina, and then it became Falcon Charizard. So, you know, it's sort of like, Anchor has to whip punish in those matchups. 